I just have made to listen. I don't want you to listen. When you're too steady, when you're steady, you fool too much. I love when you get them my wine and go down. Love when you get them and touch in the bone. This is true. Doubles, baby. That's why we come to Davy. That's the only reason I just come to Davy. But doubles, so uh, you know. Rich! Don't fluffy this thing is now. Yeah. Oh my god, it's not good. Come on. You tell the girl you want rose pepper. Obviously, you go banana pepper. Rose pepper? It's really hard. Yeah, so did you get rose pepper? I didn't know rose pepper was popular. Right? Didn't know rose pepper. Mild. It is rose pepper. Roasting hot. It is a roasting hot. It's really pretty though. Nice. You're like you're eating it pepper because it looks pretty. <laughs> going to the pitch lake, boy. First time in my life I ever going to the pitch lake. All this time I live in Trinidad and Tobago and I never went to see this natural wonder yet. We're approaching Wally. Wally! You're going to have a Wally. Person, person. Look how cute that is, though. Like he has it all. Like, oh my god, that's actually Take a chip, take a chip, take a chip, take a chip now. Hey, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, wow. We are the sound of a hundred thousand coming off the road. We are the vibration that you feel when the music blows. We are the mud and the oil, and we come to dirty of the clothes. The road, they're going to fight. Yeah. We we need reach oil, and sure, we need reach oil going long there. Yo, 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 with CDs that are hum, bombs that came to Paris, in Maruga, in okay. Sidre, in Toko, in San Grande, in Arima, San Colón, in the water. They just randomly come up. You no, know, well, you can be coming up yeah, over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, for, how much have I had my centuries? For hundreds, maybe, well, it could be thousands. Thousands of years, yeah. Thousands of years. You understand? No matter how you cut them down, they come up again. Oh, yeah, it's nature, you can't stop nature. Well, yeah, but, but this is why in the village of Labrie, you always had lots and lots of wooden houses on what they call the pitch land. And if you look at them, you'll see that they're living. Okay. Yeah. Kind of tilted. Where when you live in these houses every couple of months, yeah, or a year to two years, you have to drag them up, level them off, or they'd fall off of the stilts they are built on, That's or the poles. That's why your roads were like that. Yeah. Too. They, they build concrete structures. But then what they call sand beds or floating foundations. Right. So it's all like this building here. Here, built on, on sand beds. Or what they call a floating, floating foundation. foundation. Okay. Like what they do in the earthquake prone areas because okay. of the movement of the pitch from okay. under the ground. Now you're, you're feeling the flexibility already yeah. from yeah. the heat of the sun. The flexibility you're feeling is from the heat of the sun that makes it a bit soft like a piece of rubber. Yeah, it looks like Right? It so this is why we, when they were mining it many years ago with pickaxe, in the day, where they were mining, they, they would keep throwing water on it, keeping it wet. Right. Right? It's cool. Uh, and, and if they could, they, they, they would mine in the, in the night time. And or very early in the morning, before the sun come up. Right. You know, but if they had to mine it in the day, they had to throw water on it. Keep it cool. Keep it cool, that it would break. Because very old photographs show you, this area, at the same height with the surrounding area. So we are going now into what is considered a man-made hole of this. Okay. Where to said in 1595 when Sir Walter Raleigh came, he met Amerindians here. Yes. Mm -hmm. He met mm -hmm. Amerindians here, here, where he didn't come up and see the main area in 1595. It was until he came back on another voyage in 1617 that he came yeah. and saw the, saw the main area. Yeah, but there was social studies lesson here, boy. I remember the name Sir Walter Raleigh. Yeah. A lot of travel not aware. That one of the first operation or the fineries in this part of the Western Hemisphere is built in the 1920s and 30s. Yes. Which actually supplied the Allied forces with aviation fuel, diesel and petrol during the times of World War II. What? So it was considered a strategic area to carry yeah. back in those times. Nice one. So cute. So if, if you look over here, you will see some of the things that we move. It runs straight over there. Straight, the, the flowers run straight over there, or, or you move back one and back there. So the pumping station, every year during the dry season, sometimes they would come and dredge this whole area. And by the time Christmas, 
the, uh, to come into the following year carnival, that whole area full up with that lotus again. Oh, okay, okay. They, 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 they seem to, 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 to multiply rapidly. Usually, during the dry season, all in front here is so dry that people sometimes drive down here and think they can drive straight out and park. And that's where they run into problems. With the four tires begin to sink, you get no traction and you had to get something big and heavy to pull it out or if, if not get get strong enough people who know what they're doing from them to dig around the wheels and free up the vehicle to get it away. Oh. Wow. It smells they, like they, detergent. They are perfume. Now the pink anymore smell perfume but there's a white one that open in the night that one smells a bit different. Not. Now, uh, when you're coming across these areas like this, you have to come down and step across. But if you come down, you just step into the center, it's a bit deeper than what, what, what area you where, 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 where your feet might reach. Right? No, all, uh, all form like this during the rainy season, those are what they call the folds or the fault lines, oh. which expand. With the weight of the water during the rainy season, as dry season comes in, the water evaporates, these areas will close in on contract. So you get that expansion and contraction taking place from rainy season to dry season. So that is what creates the pools okay. where people would bathe during the rainy season. Right. But in the dry season, people come and go to the middle of the lake for what they call the mineral sulfur. Right, so yes. To bathe in the mineral sulfur. There's a piece of wood coming up. Oh. It's a normal thing to find pieces of wood, tree stumps, tree branches, which are being pushed up by the gas, coming up all over. Where many years ago, while doing the mining manually, they would have found Amerindian bones, skulls, clear the facts of Amerindian civilization, also wooden carvings of chairs and small tables and so on. But most of those were, were taken to England. Yeah. That was in the colonial days. That's cool, it is said they, they found or also animal bones of, of like a mastodon, a muskox, a mammoth, and a giant slaughter anteater. The only bones which remained here was the giant slaughter anteater. The rest they were taken same way to England. They will never return here. Naturally bleeding. Sulfur? Well, sulfur and, 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 and the, the hydrogen and the copper would have it green in color like, like this. Like pure sulfur. If you touch it, you smell like a matchbox. People come to put that on the skin for rashes, sores, eczemas on the skin. Oh yeah, this is what they use for like lotion and stuff. Yeah. Now look at me here. You see? Can I put my feet in it? Yeah, yeah. Come on. Kind of Where you smell it, you smell the gases escaping from it. You smell the methane, the hydrogen sulfide gases. You squeeze it, you feel the softness. You see there's water in it. It's 29% right. water, 39% bitumen, 27% mineral matter, oil, sand, or tar sand, 5% organic material or matter. The main reason for the boiling and fine of is extracting the gases and the water. Oh, crazy. One quarter of the lake is always liquid with the largest concentration of that on the far side over here. This is wow. what is known as the mother of the lake, tar or natural bitumen, where it comes up from down the earth due to the gas pressure, pushing it in a vertical or awesome, direction. Man. Oh cool, this is so awesome. <laughs> you like I never thought I'd ever be here and even doing this. Uh. Dive, dive. Your frame, <laughs> my shout guy. out to dive. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to dive. It actually feels really cool. It's a real shadow. I like right here. Go down, right? Go down. Come down. Come down. Come down. Come down. Go down. Go down. Wait, if it's deep, I can't go. 
go there though because I can't down. swim. Go down. Standing up here? Yeah. I stand up here. Yeah, well, I won't go any further from the side. I stand up watch. Ooh, nice. No, it actually feels really good though. <laughs> Never thought I'd be doing this in my life. I pray for good. Nah, man, it's fun. Ooh. It feels warm. Like, it actually feels warm. Feels nice, eh? Like, it's not like when you go to a pool and you're just like shaking cold. It's like a relaxing kind of It's warm. a nice day. I know. We know we know talking about going for Wallis. Oh you see? Well, we We're visiting and I follow you on um Facebook. <laughs> no talking about food. No, because yeah. <laughs> no talking about food. I know still going my wallies. <laughs> I I yeah, I just told him that. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> no talking about going for Wallis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's my first time coming here, so. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. It's real nice. It was a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Right. Right. Where are you the, the arm slippers? Over there. Yeah, and spray up with gas all yeah. yeah, Full experience, right? Full experience, diesel. Then I did something for the very first time. I went to the Pitch Lake and it was an amazing experience. I mean, I felt like a tourist in my own country, but it was absolutely a great experience. And then we went by Munas, got some best tasting curry, came up to Lime on San Fernando Hill, check out the view. Thank you to Jenks for sponsoring. 